Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about all the clutter here. We have a lot of projects going on. Um, but today, this is the project we're gonna be working on. A couple of videos ago, I put the electronics on this um, little hovercraft um, airboat thing that I built a while back. And you guys seem to really like it. And I got some great feedback on it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I built it today. Okay, so it's a very simple build. Um, first thing I gotta do, I so, I'm starting out with this um, one sheet of foam board here and this is pretty much all we're going to need for the whole thing. We're not even going to use all this. So first off, um, the way I calculated like my width that I was going to do is that I had this 7 inch propeller here. I had this propeller here that I knew I was going to use for it because I bought the electronics before I built it. And it was actually a, bought it for something else. And I didn't want to hit other stuff like driving beside me, so I made it the width of this propeller so that I didn't hit other stuff that I was driving beside, like if I was accidentally ran up against the wall. So this thing is a little bit too wide, this foam board here, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I need to get a knife and a ruler. Be right back. Okay, so I got a um, my ruler and my knife and a worktop to cut on. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rough my length, which is, I'm sure it's pretty much gonna base it off this other one, because it's gonna be pretty, work pretty good. So it's about eight inches long and about five inches wide. So this is a five inch blade right here, five inch propeller. Five and a quarter to make it a little bit wider in that propeller. Okay, so I got that all measured up, and now I'm just gonna cut it out just like that. Whoa, perfect. This is our base of our hovercraft here. So we're gonna put this to the side for now. Okay, so one thing that I did on the front of the hovercraft is I rounded the corners. So I'm gonna take, I've got a spool of, um, of um, solder right here, and it's about about a good size to use as something around it. So I'm gonna get a pencil or a pen and I'm just gonna trace this out a little bit on both sides of the front corner. And you can make this circle as big or as small as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just for looks. So then I'm gonna cut this out just like, whoa, impressive. Okay, so Next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take and um, I'm gonna going to take a tool like maybe what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use the back side of this um, knife here, and I'm just gonna lightly make a little mark with it. I'm gonna do the same with the ruler too, just to press a little bit mark into it. So you see what I did there? And then I'm just gonna roll it up so that I have a little tiny bit of a lip. So if I go like on something that isn't perfectly the same level, I have a little teensy bit of a lip that I can like go up onto it, like that ruler there. I could like drive over that instead of just running straight into it. So, so here's our base here. So the next thing we need to do, we need to get a piece of wood like this for our motor mount, and then we're gonna install that motor mount. The length of your wood here needs to be, if you're using a five inch blade, it needs to be about three inches tall, just so you have enough um, working room for enough clearance underneath the bottom of it. You can make three and a half if you want. That would probably be nice, but um, we're gonna go, yeah, sure, we're gonna go for three and a quarter inches tall. So I'm just gonna cut my, Measure my wood for three and a quarter. And how wide is it gonna be? It's gonna be about three quarters of an inch wide. Okay, so now that we got that piece cut out, we're gonna set that um, other chunk aside. And that's gonna be our top there. So, to know like the distance 
To know the distance we need like back, forward from this piece, we're gonna have to um, build this piece, the tail rudder first. So for that, I'm just gonna take this chunk of foam I have here. I'm gonna set that aside. I take this chunk of foam and I'm gonna make a rudder about, it's gonna be four inches wide with about two and a quarter inches of a um, movement section. So now that we got this cut out, we're just gonna make a slight angle so it looks a little bit nicer. So it's just gonna be from that point. Okay, so now that we got that cut out, we're gonna take and we're gonna draw a line here about two inches away from, from this edge. So we're gonna measure over two inches. No, two and a quarter inches, sorry. We're gonna measure over two and a quarter inches from this edge. Two and a quarter. And then we're just gonna simply draw a line. And then we're just gonna cut a score line. So it's not gonna go all the way through the foam, but it's just gonna go halfway through so that we can have that, this um, paper on the other side intact still so we can bend it like that. And then we're just gonna do a simple um, 45 degree angle on this paper, on the part that moves. So it's just, it's just like a 45 degree angle. So just take your knife. You can do this on the edge of the table if you want, or you could do this with a piece of sandpaper. Just takes a little bit longer. So about a 45, so that's all the movement we really need. So I think that'll be fine. And if we need a little bit more, we can just always just cut off a little bit more. Okay guys, so the next step here is gonna require some hot glue. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply take this right here and we are just going to um, first find our center point. So it's gonna be a five and a quarter inch wide, is the thing. So it's gonna be two and a half. So it's gonna be two and five eighths. This is gonna be the center point if you're going with me. If you're doing the same dimensions as me. So then I'm just gonna draw a couple lines on each side of it, just so I can um, still see the line after when I put my thing on. So it's gonna be about, take that about 90 and draw a line straight up a little bit more. Okay, so now we can take our hot glue gun and we can put it on this edge right here. You don't need to put too, too much, just put enough. Be careful touching hot glue. Use a scrap if you can, because it is very hot. So I got a piece of um, uh, po uh, the, the, the barbecue skewer or whatever, something like that, or I don't know what it's called. But it's pretty much a little stick, barbecue skewer, I think. And I'm just gonna take it, and we're gonna poke a hole into the boat right there. About centered of this thing. And then we're gonna poke it, go past a little bit so that you can get it, poke it up straight. So now it should be straight and parallel, like that. So then we can just go in back and hot glue that in. So this is gonna make our tail section way stronger. We might not have to do this since it's so small of a boat, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because it's so easy to do. And you could probably shape this um, tail any way you wanted. But I think this is the okay shape for me. I'm happy with this because it looks good. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we need to put this um, little board on here. And we need to know our motor size. So we need to know how much it's going to stick out from our board. So this motor, you can measure it if it's not on uh, something already, but this one is. So it's gonna stick out one and three quarters of an inch. 
away from that board. So we're gonna measure, and the propeller is gonna stick out one, one and three eighths of an inch away from the board. Away from the, so we're just gonna take simply here and measure one and three eighths roughly. So then that's going to be a front of our So that's going to be where the front of this thing goes is right here and we're going to about center that So we can just take some hot glue on the wood here Let's See if you can see me We're just going to glue it down about centered Okay, so next we're gonna take like a scrap like this and we're just gonna cut some um, pieces of foam. And I'm gonna cut an angle on them. I guess I really need to do one. So just make sure they're the same like this. So I got two triangles here, as you see. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it like this and I'm gonna glue it in at a 45 degree angle. So this is gonna make it way stronger. See how wobbly it is now? That's not gonna work and it's not gonna hold up over time at all. So it glues pretty close to your fingers, so be careful. If you're not comfortable with working around it, just use gloves or something that might help. Okay, so we're just gonna glue that on and we're going to glue the second one on. Okay. So now that we got both of them glued in, we're just about finished. So after this part, we just want to take and mount our electronics. So that's pretty simple to do. You just take and you, um, you drill your pilot holes, or in this case, you don't really need to. You could just do your own screws. So just screw this on and take a servo. Take your servo and just attach it using a control cord, either a button or um, actually 3D printed like mine is, or just that's a simple setup. If you need some further instruction on that, just leave a comment down below and I will answer it. For the, this little front hatch, you don't really need any of this. This is for an old battery. I had this on a one cell battery before. So you could use it for, I had this a way smaller motor, which is way better for a smaller area. And you could actually drive it around pretty easily. And this was just like a way bigger motor that I had. So I threw it on here because it was fun to, um, get going really fast but you can put a way smaller motor on this and with a one cell um, battery and it works really good so I'll leave all that um, links to all the parts and stuff in the description below including the bigger and the smaller battery and setup so thanks for watching if you guys need any further um, help with this build just leave a comment down below and I will for sure answer it but this is um, this will get you most of the way there and Go check out my other video that I had on this hovercraft if you want to see a little bit of the installing the electronics. That kind of shows you what I did and how I did it. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Have a wonderful day and um, keep up the um, DIY building and flying experience. So please like and subscribe if you like this video and um, click that bell here too and you will get notifications for my next videos. I have been posting them um, weekly on um, Wednesdays so I um, hope you um, remember that and come back every Wednesday for my new video. So please um, like and subscribe to support my channel. And I um, hope you guys will um, continue to watch some like, future videos and you will help me to um, put them out there. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.